January the 22nd, 2024. As a quick update on the weather, we're finally getting a break in some of the colder air that we've had and the hard freezes. But at 7.30 this morning, we are at 33 degrees, and it is a real feel of 29 here in central Mississippi. But Little Rock, Pine Bluff, Greenville, Mississippi, Texarkana, Paris, Texas, Fort Smith, Fayetteville, it's still cold where you're at. Uh, You're getting ice and a mixture of snow at this point. As we come out again of a very cold weekend, but it's about to go into about five days of rain here in the southeast. Let me back this out just a little. Here we go. You can see this area of moisture pumping in off the Gulf, and a lot of it's being fed from the El Nino effect coming out of the Pacific Ocean. But you, it goes all the way up into the Great Lakes where you're starting to get some lake effect snow, things like that, Cleveland, Toledo, Detroit. All of you guys in that area, watch that. Looking up uh, at the uh, northwest section, you've got a storm there. Higher elevations, you've got sleet, a mixture of snow coming down into Nevada. In the mountains of uh, California, you've got snow. But, again, it's, this is going to be a week of moisture. And they're talking about floods in the southeast, uh, flash floods, major flooding, if we're talking about getting heavy rain for that period of time. So that's what we're watching now. Let's look at the overall satellite images. Now, looking at the satellite images over the country, quite a bit of moisture in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see it. A lot of stuff is being blown offshore on the east coast. But to the left half or the western half of the nation, you're getting infrared satellite images because it is not daylight yet. But there's a lot of moisture. Again, you can see into the Gulf of Mexico, and once it becomes uh, daylight across the country, you'll see how much moisture is in place and headed uh, east. But looking at the water vapor, that would give you just a little bit better idea of how much moisture we're dealing with. Again, you can see that plume coming in across Mexico and the Baja, all the way up into Canada on the left here on the west coast. And then the Gulf is full of moisture. Florida, you're starting to see it. And you can see where the uh, area is changing. There's heavy moisture in central Texas. And in that area, in the northern section of Texas, moving into Arkansas, that's where we're starting to see the ice and the snow. So all of my friends in Arkansas, north Mississippi, pay attention to this ice. I hope that, uh, as I always say, that the power stays on because... That makes life a lot easier when you have bad weather, when you have electricity and heat and things like that. Your water's working. So just keep an eye on it, guys. I know you're tired of it. We are tired of it, too. But we've got another week. At least it is warming up. Let's look at some of the temps. But going into your wind chills, guys, you can see where the line is of that freezing uh, precipitation here. El Dorado's 27, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, 29, Greenville, Mississippi, below freezing. Right up through here, Water Valley, Tupelo again, Ripley, Startville, Meridian. It's a little colder there. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, you're at 21. Uh, Again, these are wind chills, 27 all the way to Hattiesburg, and that's why we're seeing that ice as the day warms up that ice should move a little further north but guys it only takes a very thin layer of ice on the bridges and overpasses or on the light lines to create quite a bit of trouble so pay attention to it as we go through the day watch for our updates and again i mentioned i'm working on a project that takes a little bit of time i may get part one of that up today we'll see But uh, we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.